computer on the same network and this will be done in Windows 10 so this guys is actually a virtual machine so this is actually a virtual machine and it's actually Windows 10 Pro and the Windows 10 Ohm it won't work with remote desktop so you have to get the pro version and this is the host computer so what I'll be doing I'll be doing four steps to actually get this to work the first step that we'll be doing is that we'll be enabling remote desktop on both PCs we'll also be going to advanced share center and we'll be allowing the two computers to share information and the network and then the private network and we also be going to the firewall and we will be ensuring that remote desktop is allowed and finally we will be going to CMD and ensure that both computers are actually on the same network in order for remote desktop to actually work so on the host computer what I'll be doing is that I'll be going to, I'll be right clicking on the start option and going to system okay I'll be doing the same and the virtual computer so right click and go to system okay so it's now coming up then you're gonna scroll down to where it says remote desktop you're gonna click on it okay and here is where it says enable remote desktop you're gonna click on that and this is the host computer and you're gonna confirm no, that was successful now you're going to do the same on the virtual machine so you're going to scroll down go to remote desktop you're going to enable remote desktop and you can confirm it okay so that was also successful so next what we will be doing is that we'll be going back to the start option you right click and we'll then go to settings and gonna do the same on the host computer and we'll go to settings okay so from here what we will do is that we we'll go to network and internet okay and we're going to scroll down and go to where it says network and sharing center okay so from here we we'll go to change advanced sharing settings so first we'll take a look at the private network settings okay so you gotta ensure that the network discovery is turned on and then we'll also turn on file and printer sharing then we'll move on to where it says all networks I will scroll down and we'll actually turn off where it says turn off password detected sharing and we will save our changes okay and that should be good for the OS machine So next, we'll move on to the virtual machine and do the same. So we'll go back to home from here. We'll now click on sh network and sharing center. Okay. And we'll go to change, advanced, sharing settings. We'll go back to the private network. And ensure that turn on network discovery is on. You can turn on file and printer sharing and also we're going to go to all networks 
and we're going to ensure the password is turned off and we're going to save the changes now that is completed next we're going to go to the firewall so you can type in firewall and you're going to click on where it says firewall and network well you can click on is actually allow apps to windows firewall then you're going to click on where it says change settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says remote desktop here it is so those has been checked so those are good to go so you can click on ok now we are going to do the same on our host computer and type in firewall okay so we're going to scroll down to where it says remote desktop and ensure that it's allowed by your firewall as you can see it's good to go so next we're going to be going to CMD okay so now we're going to type in ipconfig to see the IP address of the computer that we're using okay so as you can see the IPv4 address this is it and the network has to be similar as this one in order for it to work on the virtual computer so let's take a look okay we also be typing IP config okay so as you can see it is similar only difference is this section which means it's on the same network so it should be able to work with the IP address or you can use the name of the PC now I'll be connecting to the virtual PC so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type in remote desktop on the host computer Now we'll be putting in the IP address of the remote machine. Then I'll click and connect. Okay, so now we'll give the virtual machine a random name and a random password. And I'll click on remember me and click on OK. Okay, so now it's setting up to actually connect. Click on yes. Oh, it's processing. And as you can see guys, I have just successfully connected remotely to my virtual machine from my host computer. So yes guys, if it is that you have any questions as to the issues you may find when you're trying to actually replicate this, you may go ahead and leave a comment under this video and I'll be happy to respond and assist you in actually getting your remote desktop up and running. 
so thank you for watching guys and if you want to see more content like this one you should go ahead and give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell in that way you'll be one of the first person to see my next video thank you, you take care bye bye